Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame, Maiden of Blackwater. This is episode 12. Last time was a pretty short one, but we did end up making it to the Lake of the Departed on the Twilight Peak. We didn't find Hisoka, or yeah, Hisoka. I almost said Haruka. We didn't find Hisoka up there. It seems that there is some kind of shrine on the other side of the lake, but we were blocked by the Maiden of Blackwater. We also got attacked by a lady who tried to put us in a box, because uh, I guess there's some kind of great pillar that the other pillars keep standing, and that presumably keeps the underworld from leaking into the living world. But for now, we're going to be keeping watch as Ren, which I can't imagine is going to be a long chapter unless we leave the house. We're making sure that no ghosts get the jump on Mew and Yuri while they're sleeping. Buy some more of that. The Witching Hour. When Yuri returns from Mount Hakami's summit, she quickly collapses from exhaustion. Meanwhile, Miyu is also in an unnaturally deep slumber. Worried that some unwanted visitors may be on their way, Ren and his assistant Rui decide to watch over the girls through the shop surveillance system. What, so they're not actually even there? We'll just link into your surveillance system and watch it from home. Either that, or they are just literally the watching surveillance it. Surveillance cameras seem to be working. Now we can see if anything comes to pay us from visit. the same building. Got to keep an eye out for any paranormal activity. Huh? It's only been like five seconds since we started watching and something weird is already happening. Hmm. Well, that seems pretty weird. But I've never seen them sleep before. What's happening? So maybe that's normal for them. Ruby does seem pretty susceptible oh, right. to phenomena. I'm fine. Don't worry. Oh. Rui seems to be unconscious, or maybe just asleep. I wonder what that rumbling was. Something must be happening on the mountain. Yuri and Miyu have both been affected by the noise. I should make sure they're okay. It does not affect men, though. Haruka Momose, the girl Yuri saved, was led away by the ghost of a girl who killed herself. Something might have come again. I need to check the surveillance camera feeds to see if the girls are okay. I have to check if Yuri and Miyu are okay. Is this going to be like a mini-game chapter where I have to run to the location of weird stuff? Okay, nothing suspicious in there yet. They both seem to be fine, but I should keep checking on them every now and then, just to be sure. They've been acting strange since that ominous rumble. What's happening on Mount Hakama? I should look into the mountain's histories. They must have some books about it here. I know I have to make sure that they're not getting attacked by ghosts, but I also want to learn. I found a book titled Local Customs. It seems to be about the, the customs in the area around Mount Hakami, as you would expect from the title. Miko Mori. In the area around Mount Hakami, there is a custom of receiving water from the mountain. The people call it Mikomori, and it is placed in casks to bring into their homes, used only for special ceremonies. It is used to give a newborn its first bath or to cleanse the bodies of the dead. This stems from the belief that the soul comes from the water and returns to it in death. 
Another use for this water is known as the cry of the mountain. According to an old woman in the village, there is a saying, When Hikami lets out a cry, one must wash in Mikomori. When Mount Hikami cries out or rumbles, one ritually immerses oneself or otherwise wets oneself with the water. The custom likely comes from the mountain's sound being a bad omen, and they use the pure water as a sort of war. But when the water dries, your daughters may be gone. Do not go in search when the mountain is awake. This must refer to girls being taken to the mountain after the ward has worn off, an explanation for the number of girls going missing in the area. Do I need to check the camera? No, there's a note over here too. It's a book about local folk anecdotes. The Mikomori region has many anecdotes regarding the act of photographing the dead. Many are simple superstitions, but some allow us a glimpse into the customs of another time. These stories show both great understanding and great fear. Vanishing. A man showed a photograph to a friend. The picture showed the faint silhouette of a person. Upon seeing the silhouette, the man cried out and ran, leaving the photo where it was. Each time the man looked at the photo, the silhouette grew more and more distinct. It was his friend. It is said that his friend disappeared after that. That sounds like a Junji Ito story. <laughs> the photo bride. A local fool suddenly declared that he had married. The village threw a celebration, but no one had seen the bride. They were perhaps a little... too... What's the word? Premature. <laughs> completely blanked on that. They were a little premature in their celebrations. Someone went to the man's house and could hear the sounds of a woman talking within. However, looking inside, he saw only the man from behind, with no sign of a woman. Days pass, and the man hasn't left his house, so one of the villagers went to check on him. There was no one in the house, only an old photograph left behind. Mm, ghost marriage. In the photo was a bride hiding her face and the missing man was at her side. The man who saw the photo said the bride appeared to be smiling. I really need to investigate Mount Hakami and find out what's going on there, but I'm supposed to be watching the girls. a.m. Still no sign of ghost activity within the house. All is well. Nope. Hold on. We got a ghost downstairs. Got to get her out of here. Excuse me. Lady, we're closed. No haste, Ren. Just, uh... Wait, where the hell is this? This is a weird little surveillance room. Oh, no. There's another door. Hold on. It's the wrong way. This ghost is going to be gone by the time I get there. <laughs> you know, this would have been easier if we just put them all in the same room. Ma'am? No one here. Probably somewhere else now. Maybe I should have watched longer. <laughs> okay. Wandering down the hall. Static in the feed from Yuri's room. I better go and check it out. If something strange happens on the camera, get up and investigate it. Don't just let it happen. Alright, so Yuri is over here? 
No, she's upstairs. Yuri's room is up here. So we go through, we go up the stairs to the left. I'm glad they didn't turn this into like an actual mini game where I can like fail by not doing this quick enough. I thought it was gonna get a little bit like Five Nights at Freddy's or something. But it certainly is a change up from what we've been doing. Hey! Get out of here. Isn't that Mew? Mew, wake up! You're astral projecting. I don't think she's going to attack me. I think she's just going to keep popping out and we got to keep hitting her. Nope. Quick, touch her. Nope. There we go. <laughs> Meanwhile, Yuri's notebook. It seems she's written in it like a diary, so I should probably not stick my nose in it. When my heart gets weak, I can't even breathe. It takes all my strength just to breathe. All I can do is take the breath and then hope to take another. I grow exhausted and spend all my strength just to live. I am aware of death, and I see people whispering, people with broken faces, people with ruined bodies, people who stare at me from bloody sockets, people crying endlessly. All I can do is close my eyes, cover my ears, and wait for the moment to pass. They are always watching me. They say I don't belong here. It should have gotten better. I should have gotten better. Man, you got a lot of guests tonight, Yuri. Hello? Alright, well. She seems to be having a nightmare, but is otherwise okay. What? <laughs> Did something just splat off the window? Man, in a hallway. I feel like something just flew by. Continue surveillance. Oh, I mean, it's, you know, it's kind of nice Ren to actually commit to this job of making sure nothing takes them in the night. He's a diligent fella. This is not the right room either. Ugh. I'm so confused in this place. Now, I'm going to predict that the next apparition will be in Miyu's room. Okay, she's clear for now. So that ghost was Fuyihi then, right? I kind of already forgot what she looks like. Wait, who was that? Is that Yuri's room again? No, that's Yuri's room. Someone's wandering in the hallway. Oh, that's Haruka. But again, I don't know if I should be going like to her in the hall or if that doesn't actually matter and you have to wait till she gets somewhere. Like, if he'll actually say, oh, I should probably get up every time. Okay, she's just watching uh, Miyu. 
That seems like something we should go check out. Yeah. That's what I thought, game. He didn't say anything, so I was unsure. Miyu is in... this room. I bet her she's in the one around the corner. The, the next corner. Nope, not this one. Oh, hold on. There's something to steal in here. But, you know, I gotta check up on... Gotta check up on Miyu. There's a wet note left atop the bed. Once the sunset reaches here, the end won't be far off. After that, the mountain will let out a mighty roar, and everything will overflow. It will overflow, and everyone will end together. It'll be good. It'll be over. Since it'll be over, I came to see everyone, so that we can die properly before the end comes. God damn it, Haruka, get out of here. Just because you want to die doesn't mean everyone else wants to join you. Yeah, so I think she's over here. This leads to the bathroom. Nope. That's Yuri's room, Hisoka's room, secondary storeroom. I think she's in Hisoka's room then? There are a lot of bedrooms, or at least rooms with beds, in this antique shop. Okay, well, it's not the right place, but there's more lore. He can't resist the lore. This appears to be a book by a folklorist, Keiji Watarai, about shrine maidens. Maybe there's something in here about the maidens of Mount Hakami. The female perspective. Something I don't know, because I'm a man. And yet I wrote this book anyway. The shrine maidens of Mount Hakami were tasked with leading pilgrims to death. They were feared, and people thought a maiden's glance stripped away the soul. Tales of ghost shrine maidens are common on Mount Hakami. My research into Japanese folklore has led me to believe that an underlying fear of women permeates this very culture. But who were the Shrine Maidens? As women who immersed themselves in water and led people to their deaths, the Shrine Maidens of Mount Hikami called to mind tales of bewitching sirens. The traditions of Mount Hikami came to an end in an incident where the Shrine Maidens were all murdered. The incident was most likely spurred on by this fear the locals had of the Shrine Maidens. As usual, women are oppressed because men are afraid of women. This book was written by the folklorist K.G. Waterai. Maybe it can shed some light. The Ghost Marriage. The custom of marrying the dead is seen elsewhere too, but the ghost marriage of Mount Hikami was unique. Rather than being done to mourn the dead, the ghost marriage seems to have been part of a ritual in which shrine maidens were sacrificed. Similar traditions join the dead with an imaginary spouse depicted in votive pictures. However, on Mount Hikami, it seems living men were brought in to be bound to the maidens. Once on the mountain, the men were not allowed to leave. The ghost marriage brought in outsiders to soothe the soul of the shrine maiden and strengthen the pillar she had become. Unable to leave the mountain, the shrine maidens would wait for a man to come and die with them. So, to keep them from dissolving as quickly, they would bind a living man's soul to keep them company in their eternal suffering. Boy, I'll find this room eventually. Don't you worry, Miu. I got you covered. I should have looked at the layout. Nope. I missed it. Guess we'd be screwed if they decided to hold the door shut with a powerful force. Everything seems normal. Did you not see the ghost hand? Maybe it was just static. Hmm. Nothing to see here. A pretty kimono hangs on the rack.
this is a book by the folklorist K.G. Waterai. Why is it stuffed into a drawer of, like, bolts of fabric? Mount Hikami's sunsets, the rumbling. Maybe there's some clue in here. Mount Hikami's name is thought to mean a mountain that climbs higher than the sun. Some posit that it was once written in a way that means a mountain of the sun gods, but that is far from certain. What is certain is that many tales about the sunset still persist to this day. People must only climb the mountain as the sun is setting. This likely comes from a local ceremony where those going to the mountain to greet their deaths would go at sunset, when the netherworld was said to be closest to ours. One mustn't look at the mountain at sunset. You must stay inside when the mountain cries. The dark sun was a god of misfortune and calamity. I thought he was just there to babysit while the lords were all gone. The setting sun over Mount Hikami was said to be an omen of this dark sun, drawing people into their doom. As with the cry, tremors are also often seen as a portent of calamity. On Mount Hikami, it was thought that it was the water rumbling, and it is said that if you could hear it, you were eligible to become a shrine maiden. Other sources say that the locals washed in special water when these tremors happened. It won't open. It's being held shut by a powerful force. Oh no, he locked me in. Fucking ghost. She seems to be having a nightmare, but is otherwise okay. Oh, okay, I just had to check on her before she would let me get out. Well, now I know where she is. She's as far away as we can get. Or not. I guess this door leads right to her. Why is the TV on? There's nothing but static on the screen. I should probably switch the TV off. Oh, come on. <laughs> she spawned so close to me that time. This is not a good place to fight a ghost. Oh, she's above me. Who are you? You don't really look like a shrine maiden, but you've got the bubbly thing going on. Ah, I tried to hit her with the blast. The multi-blast. That happens because I'm, I'm hitting X too slow, so it's pulling up the menu. She appears to be getting weaker. Nope, never mind, she's floating again. I'm really, like, pinned into the corner here. So, I want to check here if camera is... Oh. Oh. Apparently his only shares the loader, or did I... Did I upgrade this, like, way earlier? Well, that sucks that you have to upgrade these individually, considering they don't have individual points. I'm going to increase output on his. Hmm. That seems like it, none of those hit her except the first one. Alright, uh, Rui is still okay. She's completely oblivious to what just happened. So I guess if they're in the hallway, that's not anything we need to worry about. It's once they arrive at a room that we have to go check it out.
great. There's like <laughs> a gathering of ghosts in the front room. Okay, fine. We'll go check out the front room. Shoo off these ghosts. Because they don't seem to be moving. No loitering. None of these seem to be really important ghosts, considering they don't give us anything. They did give me a little bit of soggy, though. They brought in the water with them. Alright, back to work. That's uh, not great. There's a shrine maiden in the courtyard. Ugh, damn. Should go check on Yuri. She's surrounded by ghosts. Wait, where? Rui must have woken up. Things are spiraling out of control very quickly. I don't think there's a quick way to get to Yuri's room, though. Just have to go all the way up here. Rui, what are you doing? Are you here to help? Or are you also going to loom over her? Alright, what's going on in here? What the? It's <laughs> a terrible photo. But I think all that matters with those is that we catch it. We seem to have been teleported somewhere else. And he's not even like, where the fuck am I now? Oh, we're back in the... the disappearing house or vanishing house. What the... I can see the water through a gap in the floor. The water is black and murky, and it's hard to see past the surface. There are traces of water about, as if something was dragged out. We just have to follow her trail of journals. You must always be vigilant. Doesn't matter if it's a note, a key item, you're in a dream, any of that, you could still get grabbed by an arm. Ruby's notes have fallen on the floor. What could this mean? Mr. Hojo is captivated by the woman in that photograph. He's never been good with women. But he's starting to change. I can't do anything about it. He's changing. I'd like to keep things between us just as they are. The relationship we have now, I like the ambiguity. But he's going to decide sooner or later. I wonder. Which way will he choose? I like the status quo, and I don't like change. Change is uncomfortable. We got a pogging ghost here. Oh, pog dude.
Oh shit, I fell asleep when I was supposed to be fighting ghosts off. What was I doing again? Ah, oh, crap, everybody's gone. Huh? Is that a shrine maiden in tights? Hey, come with me. Yes, I will do that. <gasps> wow, I really fucked up royally. Now we still got one. I mean, unless she just gets up and walks away. Oh. Are, are you all right? I need to go back to Mount Akami. You want to come with? Can you take me there? What? No way, it's too dangerous. Well, if that's your answer, thanks for everything. Also, like, did she even meet him? Wasn't she already passed out when he showed up? You don't mind if I borrow this, do you? Maybe I'll be able to find Yuri as well. Hold on, wait. Did he kill her? Well, he better hope that no ghosts come for him because he has no defense now. Ren is watching over the sleeping Yuri and Miyu on the surveillance cameras, but he passes out. He has a dream where he's chasing after Rui. When he wakes up, both Yuri and Rui are gone. He finds Miyu getting ready to leave her, Mount Hakami, taking Yuri's camera obscura with her. The door shuts behind Miyu, leaving a bewildered Ren behind. Well, that was a weird chapter. It's a short one, too. But that's good, because some of them have been pretty long, so I was hoping they weren't all, like, an hour long. Find Yuri Kozukata. She came and found me. Now it's my turn to find her. Also, if she took Ren's camera, I would hope that she has Ren's upgrades in the camera. Yuri has vanished from the shop. Miu takes the camera obscura and heads to Mount Hikami in search for her. And also her mother, I guess. Alright, well, that'll do it for this episode, I suppose. No point in starting a new drop when we are about a half an hour in. So, thank you for joining me for some more Fatal Frame made into Blackwater. I feel like we're starting to come towards some kind of climax where we will try to seal the gates between the living world and the netherworld again. Rebuild the Great Pillar. Hopefully it doesn't involve sacrificing any of our characters to do that. So, until next time, you folks all take care and Keep those camera obscuras handy. <laughs>